Do you remember the first time that you crossed the street all by yourself? You know, you'd probably gone across the street a couple times with mom or dad, you know, holding their hand really tight, uh, standing on the edge, just seeing traffic go back and forth, not really understanding the full gamut of what would happen if you got hit by a car. And, you know, your parents teaching you to, to look both ways before you cross and looking at, the, at the, the lights to make sure they turn green to give you the go ahead before you cross. Well, do you remember the first time that you went by yourself? You're probably little and there's, you know, mom and dad weren't with you and you had to check both ways, but, but there's something, there's, there's almost like an internal fear when you first step out and, and branch somewhere new or go to a new place all by yourself. And, and fear has this funny way of, of bringing you focus. You know, that, that first time you crossed the street, you were probably super focused on, on the traffic and the lights and making sure nobody was there and double checking and triple checking and four times checking and five times checking. You know, now we just cross the street so casually all the time, like we don't even think about it. But but there's something about when about being fearful of it and it forces you to really stay focused. Well let me read Psalm 128, which I preached on last Sunday at Hope Boulder. Psalm 128 says, How joyful are those who fear the Lord and all who follow his ways. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. Your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine, flourishing within your home. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. That is the Lord's blessing for those who fear him. So may the Lord continually bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as, long as you live. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren. May Israel have peace. You see, God's people are reciting these psalms or singing these psalms as they're on a journey. They're on a journey to the Holy Land. They're on the journey to a place that God has for them. Just like a lot of us, we're on a journey. We're going somewhere that God's called us to. And so to get there, I believe that we need to have intense focus. You know, these songs of, of psalm were, were sung as reminder or as a declaration or as a way to stay focused and to get to where they were going. So I pray that as you, um, wherever you may be in your journey right now, wherever you may be, whether it be uh, embarking somewhere new and crossing the street for the first time, or maybe you need encouragement to go somewhere um, that you know is the right spot to go, but you just can't get there by yourself. Or maybe you've just been on this journey for too long and you're getting tired and weary. Well, I pray that in this season you would have um, a sense of fear, not a, not a, not a, a fear of being afraid of, of what's on the other side, but more of a, a holy fear that brings you intense focus and desire to go to where God has called you to be. And so I want to leave you with this phrase that I shared last Sunday that's really kind of driven and um, stuck out to me in this season of my life. It's the idea that staying focused is paramount to reaching God's holy land. It really is. If you want to get to where you got to go, you got to stay focused. If God's calling you to something, I encourage you to stay focused. And so join us this next Sunday as I'm actually bringing a friend out from a, a retreat that I recently met. His name's Tyler. He'll be helping us out leading worship and Ted will be bringing the word and it's just going to be awesome and amazing. So thanks so much and be encouraged.